Good afternoon everyone. Today I am going to teach you about the run test. Okay. Uh, before going to in detail, uh, let's talk about the run. What is run? Run is nothing. It's a succession of similar event proceeded and flowed by a different event. It means that the similar data is repeating in a run randomness. Okay. For example, sequence of the tosses of coin. Okay. It's not fixed that which data is or who is uh, whether tail or head is coming okay but it speaks that head or tail will come and uh, it's uh, it, it has the two main features or two concerns number of the run and the length of the runs okay number of the run means suppose we first um, in toss we get the head in tail tail head head tail 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 head tail then how we can count the number of the run total number of the runs first of all this is head we just change into the tail it means in the another outcomes okay this two when tail again tail that's why this is two then after tail then it comes head then it's the three again from head to tail this is four from this all are the tail 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 that's why four from tail to head five and from head to tail this is tail. that's why total number of the run is six okay length of the run first one is length of the one second one is length of the two third one is length of two and fourth one is length of three like this this is the length of the run nothing and now what is the run test run test is nothing is just the examine of the arrangement of number okay uh, and in a sequence to test the hypothesis of the uh, independence uh, whether the data is dependent or not with the preceding value of previous value or the in the next value like that okay and if there uh, we need to flow some step uh, to find out the run test uh, let's discuss one by one first step is to um, we need to define the hypothesis for testing as not is random values uh, is proportional to the independent okay and as one is random value is not proportional to uh, independence i will discuss it later and the second step is the we need to uh, point out the sequence of the runs off and the runs down okay let me give you an example okay suppose this is the uh, question given this uh, we need to difference from the second value to first value means this value is smallest then this one is greater okay if we difference from this to this then we get the minus okay let me give the new one minus and if from here to this one from here sorry, uh, from suppose here uh, from here to here when from here to here this one is greater than this one okay so that if we minus from this to this then we are getting the positive value if we minus from this to this we are getting this one is uh, smaller than this one that we are getting the this one from here to here we are getting the negative then we need to count for this step is we just have to count the total number of the run okay as we have done here now i am not writing the all because it's just time consuming okay first second third like this okay these are the a is equal to 26 if we count regularly like this and the fourth step is calculate the mean and variance okay of the a uh, the number of the runs and mu a is the formula 2n minus 1 by 3 and variance is equal to a square uh, 16n minus 29 by 90 this is just formula and the uh, fifth step is just uh, we need to calculate the standard normal test statistics which is just test statistics general which is represented by the general and is given by a minus mean by variance okay and uh, if the value of n okay n is the number of numbers in the sequence total number of the numbers in the sequence or the data and is if the n is greater than 20 then uh, we can say that this test statistics is normal distribution okay uh, and uh, in the sixth step uh, we need to determine the critical values okay uh, z lem this lambda by 2 and minus lambda by 2 and this one is the level of significance lambda uh, suppose we are given this one lambda is equal to 0 0.05 i will explain this in the example don't worry about this okay if the value of when the calculated value of z naught means this test statistics value what we have get in the uh, year okay if this value is between these two critical values then we can say that s naught is not rejected it means that uh, let's see this graph 
okay this is if the value is lies between these two point okay minus z by alpha by 2 and z plus z by z alpha by 2 if the value is uh, lies between these two values then we can say uh, that uh, as not is accepted or as not is rejected means fail to reject hypothesis okay uh, let's see the example okay uh, suppose we have given the random number okay these are the random number we should not consider is the ascending order the descending order we should leave it at is at as it is okay then uh, here we need to n is the total num number of the data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 9 10 okay n is equal to 10 alpha is given this is the level of significance 0 0.05 given okay now we need to find out the alpha uh, z alpha by 2 okay and critical values of standard normal devi deviation distribution actually alpha the alpha value is 0 0.05 given then we need to divide by 2 means we are getting alpha uh, sorry z alpha by 2 okay then z alpha is equal to 0 0.05 by 2 we are getting alpha 0 0.025 means what is the value of alpha is this one okay then what is the value of ZA? J alpha is 1.96. Then finally we are getting 1.96. Okay. We will use this in later. Now let's uh, come the sequence of the uh, these values. Uh, runs up and runs down. Okay. First of all this one. If we minus the value from 0 point, uh, point 0.1. This is smaller. Then this that's why we are just if we minus from this to this then we are getting minus if we minus from this to this we are getting plus if we minus this from this we are getting plus if we add this plus if we from this minus and like this we are just getting the sequence of r u r d okay total number of run let's count this is one this is two and this is three okay and this is four and this is five and this is six okay total number of run is six and the next step is just we need to get uh, determine the mean and variance okay the mean is uh, to calculate the mean uh, is the formula is 2n minus 1 by 3 2 is 2 into 10 n is equal to 10 minus 1 by 3 then we get the value this and variance is equal to 16n minus 29 by 90 we get the value this just calculate yourself okay uh, I just calculated in myself and now I put the values and now the test statistics okay z naught is equal to uh, a minus what is the formula a minus mu a by variance okay then what we have get a is equal to 6 and uh, mean is equal to 6.33 this one okay this value this value and uh, variance is 1.45 and but the square root just uh, in formula there was like this okay that's why we have to include the square root also then the as a total value is minus 0 0.27 and this is the test statistics value or we can say calculated value and we know that from here critical uh, standard normal distribution uh, we get the value of z alpha by 2 is equal to minus i mean no plus 1.96 it means that if we put here we know that okay this one is given we, we got these values then uh, from here just the value of z naught is minus 0 0.27 and which lies between this so that we can say what we can say just uh, think sometimes it means that as not is not rejected it means that as not is uh, accepted and it shows the independency okay between these uh, random values whatever given the values suppose in this example also okay these values are uh, independently distributed okay or these are the random values which are independently distributed we can say and this is all about the uh, run test if you have any question okay just like uh, if i mix check then you can see this is the serial okay if i uh, made any mistake uh, you can ask in a question section or comment section okay then i'll be there to answer all of the question and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like okay thank you